Glory be to Jesus. Yes. Karibu sana mahali ulipo. Is another great night. Tuko mahali hapa tuchambue na na Bwana tubarikiwe. Tunaomba tu tunapoangalia wimbo wa Sulemani mahali pale chapter number 4. Ana tonight tuko kwenye segment very very important. Hivyo eh, karibu sana karibu sana mahali ulipo. Ah niambie uko wapi tag your friend help me to share. Wacha tubarikiwe in a mighty way. Maana kana ongea about the north weed and the south weed. <laughs> Eh doga sira nimekuona karibu sana pia to Ruthgadhu karibu sana so niambie kwa wapi evangelist Michael Oreda <laughs> wow already <Oredo> umeshia <laughs> that's both now yes wow 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 ah. watu wote wangekuwa kama evangelist Michael tungekuwa mbele sana <laughs> yeah tag your friend help me to share wacha tubarikiwe usiku leo wacha Mungu atunenee niambie uko wapi <laughs> Ya yeah, mira Isaac karibu sana. Pia tunaona kwamba na tag mtumishi wa Mungu hapo. Tag your friend create what part now. Help me to share. It is a great night. It is a great night. Woo! Rasho magana mazete kanda bazaa. Don't miss this one. The north weed and the south weed. It is very important. Kuangalia ni gani imeanza. I just start na na south weed. No 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 no. Imeanza na north then south. Why this? Tupenye haya maandiko. <laughs> Eh hey. hey. si Sekim Kim how are you doing? Names karibu sana Grace Gatia ya karibu sana. Ah naona watu wako muru wako mahali hapa so hayo mimi to share tag your friend creator watch party pale wacha tuanze tuko tunabarikiwa wacha baba tunene I believe there is a weed of God tonight. I believe the weed of God is growing not only kwa maisha yetu but kwa familia zetu. Any time the weed of God in my bro there is always a change. Remember in Genesis chapter number 8 Babu nasema kwamba wakati mvua inyesha for only 40 days and 40 night kulikuwa na mafuriko mahali pale na Noah hangetoka kwa ark kwa maana kulikuwa na mafuriko Mungu akatuma upepo weed mimi nasema kwamba yale mafuriko yakaanza kukauka maana each and every time there is a wind of god there is always a change mm. each and every time there is a wind of god there is a change The wind of God takes you to another dimension and I believe tonight the wind of God is blowing. Mm-hmm. I believe tonight we are experiencing the north wind and the south wind. That's like Sura my woman. Ambaye alikuwa na experience eh, upendo wake alimwitishia. Asema kwamba oh north wind, oh south we come bro. Ah, kuja anza sasa, anza sasa. Ah bro upon <laughs> my, my sister my spouse my bride why north weed why south weed very important man kitu ni very time kuna upepo kuna kitu kinataneka remember Ezekiel in Ezekiel chapter number 7 aliyabiwa na nether for weeds it is sasa the breath of god to come it is sasa ile mifupa isimame the weed of god remember in the book of daniel Mhm chapter number 2 wakati aliona that image when stone ilikuja ambayo haija guzwa na mikono ya binadamu and crushed the image ambayo ilionekana then the wind of god came na kila kapis kalikuwa kambeba haki the wind of god ikaondoa kila kapis and i believe tonight the wind of god is blowing chochote kibaya kinaondolewa na wind of god i believe my god is on the wind of god i believe covid 19 on the wind of god i believe divorce in a disappear the wind of god that's why kadhi karibu sana sara gosho wa patricia Bogo karibu sana create what part help me to share wacha watu wabarikiwe in the name of jesus maneke tunai tunawaka moto tunai tunawaka moto we are declaring the word of god to man first sony heren we are declaring the word of god to man first kwa maisha yako kwa hiyo marriage kwa biashara yako ah we are calling upon the north wind and the south wind what is the meaning of that we are going to dig deeper na tuone what is the meaning of that And I can believe the wind of God tonight is blowing the wind of God la shakata robo za rimaya the wind of God the wind of God this is the time tag your friend mwambie kuja tubarikiwe mwana gonia karibu sana <laughs> mahali tumefika ni very interesting upendo bado unakuwa 
<laughs> dimension nyingine tunaiangalia ya upendo ni mema the dimensions of love so kuna dimension ingine ya upendo tunaiona na tunaona kwamba sahi anamwitishia ana upepo hawi <laughs> if ni semina ya ya watu ambao wame wameoa hiyo ingekuwa tamu sana hapo kwa sababu is more deeper than that is more deeper than that so and uh, that's why nimutishia north wind then south wind that one is big that's one is deeper deeper uh, if no atombo wame, wameoa <laughs> if tunaongea na watu ambao if ni seminar if ni seminar watu ambao uh, all of them wameoa sa so, hapo ingekuwa very interesting sana kwa sababu uh, in marriage tuangalie kwamba kuondoa kuitisha north wind ni gani north wind na 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 kuadoa kuitisha south wind ni gani kwa sababu it is very important hata kuadoa kuwa na hizi wind bili eh, north na south kuadoa wale bomu nanisikiza na mmeoa i declare the north wind and the south wind very important eh, kwa sababu nasikia kwa anasema kwamba come oh north wind oh, south wind kuja juu ya mpendo wangu <laughs> kwa sababu ili sasa kutoke kale ka smell ili fragrance itoke kwanza amemuita shamba na kuna miti mahali pale na nataka kwenda kukula yale matunda but ili sasa akule yale matunda yule mpendo anasaka anataka avurutwe na kale ka fragrance kale ka smell anataka ka smell katoke na kile kitatoa kale ka smell it is the north wind and the south wind that's why i read a north wind and the south wind it i feel a sense <laughs> kale ka smell now then after that now bible nasema mna gani aende <laughs> aende sasa kura matuna come on maneka there is no way anaweza kura tuna kwa ile shamba yake unless of kwanza kukuwa na 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 north wind na south wind then ka fragrance kana mguu kwa na mguu sereria hiyo na sana eh kana mvuruta kabisa <laughs> and don't forget ndakuja hapa kutibua kiudani don't forget and north wind inaleta mvua so wind ya north ikija inaleta mvua in short inaleta maji inaleta maji Ah uh, yeah. Ana alikuwa anaitishia mpendo wake hiyo upepo. Come on. <laughs> ah, Venus praise God. How are you doing? Can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, aliye na masikio nasikie vile roho anasema na kanisa. That one is for marriage. My actually. <laughs> Oh agonia. I wish that that we're going to go over here hapa. Hiyo tugeichambua. Sabu you need to know how to call the north wind. Yes, maana ke north wind inaleta maji, inaleta mvua. Yes, you understand? North wind inaleta mvua, inaleta maji. You understand? That's what we call north wind come. Ina ni yule bwana anaita ni ni mpendo wake anamwidishia north wind kuja kuja sasa waje wacha maji kuja kwa sababu nataka kula matunda na na anahitaji north wind ni kula matunda yangu kwa shamba yangu hii ni shamba yangu ni na matunda na anahitaji kula matunda so but i need the north wind i need at least before ni kule hili tunda <laughs> tumira ni hili before ni kule tunda lazima at least kukuja mvua kukuja mvua Oh, alafu ikija kutoka harufu nzuri then kukuja no south wind south wind ni hot <laughs> mvua kwanza alafu moto alafu moto <laughs> then after that naweza kula matunda maana ili ukula matunda ili ukule tu hata kindoa ili ukula matunda lazima oh, ni tunda sima oh <laughs> I like it I like it Ay 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 Why 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 Oh my 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 Wale ambao meo jua kuitisha north wind na south wind Siku wana kukula tunda na hujaitisha north wind na south wind na unataka kukula tunda How can you kula matunda from where from your garden Huh? How can you? Sha la 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 la. Oh, I feel like speaking in tongues. Mala bo kalala. Uh, know how to call north wind upon your wife. And south wind upon your wife. It is risk kuna no fragrance mzuri. And now you can go to your garden and at least 
you can enjoy the fruits of your garden. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Karo Morini, praise God. Ya bado watu jaanza and nilikuwa nasema mahali leo na egemea sana ni hapo. Maneke hiyo verse itatujenga sana kiroho, but it's still watu ambao tumeoa. Inatusaidia sana kuita know the weed. Ah. Nimesema know the weed inaleta mvua. So at least ukiita know the weed inaleta maji. Na ujua kama naitishia <laughs> anaitishia north weed garden yake garden yake imagine so bibi yake anamuitishia maji imagine anataka kula tunda kwenye shaba yake kwa bibi yake ndiye ndiye shaba na kwenye shaba kuna tunda matunda ya kukuliwa kwa shamba watu lazima before kula tunda aitishe ah uh, north weed kuku at least <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Wana tu hiyo inanijenga kwa sababu it's very important. It's very important. Um, si si mnajua hata uki kuna watu wananijenga sana. Watu wapo wanatuuzia I believe kila mtu hapa. Eh, aibu kuna kwa usai una kwamba kena kuzua apples. Wale watu ili wakudaganya kwamba zimetoka kwa shaba that day. Wanamwingilia tu maji hapo, wanamwingilia tu maji juu. So wewe kuangalia unaona kwamba hey, zina kuvuruta. Unafikiria kwamba zimetoka kwa nini? Bali zimekuangiliwa tu maji. So it is good kuitisha know the weed kukuwa na maji. Tunda likuwa na maji at least. Iskuwe tili mekauka sana. Aa, wacha litishue North Weed. North Weed ileta maji. Ilo tu na hata ukiliangalia ilikuwa na maji at least. Epo itakuvuruta. Aliye na masikio nasikie vile roho ananena na kanisa. Then alafu it is a South Weed. <laughs> South Weed inaleta <laughs> inaleta joto inaleta joto you, you hear what i'm saying eh so the wind inaleta joto eh paka una sweat it is so the wind when i get so the wind in the hot when i go to the hot sasa no as long as now kuna 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 mvua kuna maji na sasa kuna joto joyce now from there now you can enjoy your fruit now you can enjoy your fruit as long as you meet a north weed na now meet a south weed you can enjoy your fruit but without north weed fast inaleta maji and uh, south weed inaleta ile moto kabisa hapana pana nasikia nina queue hii tunda naiona sasa hii ni shamba yangu nina tunda yangu sasa wacha niende nikagure sasa praise the name of the <laughs> God Jesus. Uh, uh, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Ali nasikio, nasikio vile roho anasema na wale ambao wameoa. Anyway. <laughs> now we can pray. Now we can pray. Baba katika jina takatifu for Bwana Yesu. Kusende baba kwa wako. Sana baba kwa nguvu za kuna tupende na upendo wa maajabu. Umetuleta hapa ili tunenee. Baba ni asante maneke umetukufia kwa msalaba. Damu yako inaongea maneno makubwa juu yetu. Baba umekomboa familia zetu, umekomboa doa zetu, umekomboa watoto wetu bwana, umekuwa kimbilio na tegemeo kwetu bwana. Kama si wewe tungelikuwa wapi roho? Kama si nguvu zako tungelemewa, but we have seen what you can do. Tunamini baba usiku wa leo kuna miujiza inatendeka. Tunamini usiku wa leo kuna familia zinasimama. Usiku wa leo kuna watoto wanasimama. Usiku wa leo kuna mioyo inabadilishwa na Bwana. Usiku wa leo kuna watu wanaokoka. Usiku wa leo kuna nguvu zako zinadhihirika. Usiku wa leo kuna miujiza baba. Thank you for your glory. Baba may your presses manifest. May your glory manifest in Jesus mighty name. Thank you Father. Maneke ni wewe tu watosha Bwana. Ni wewe waweza Father. 
Oh, we lift you high. We lift you high. Nena na mio yetu wana. Nena na mio yetu. Nena na mio yetu Jehovah God. Madirisha mawazo yetu baba na mio yetu. Wacha tuko kujue zaidi kupitia kwa hiki kitabu. Tukajue kazi ya kwa msaraba kupitia kwa hiki kitabu. Tukajue jizi ya maombi kupitia kwa hiki kitabu. Tujue baba Mungu juu ya roho mtakatifu kupitia kwa hiki kitabu bwana. Na wale bwana ufuatilie natangaza wataraniwa wamebarikiwa. Wale bwana tukuje kufuatilia baadaye baba wamebarikiwa. Hawatafuatwa na bomba mbaya. They are covered by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Tunakupenda. Maana kile tupenda mwanzo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunaomba na atakuamini. Amen. 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 Ah, yes. Ah, ni maana watu wakisema kwamba hawakuelewa hapo usijali. Na was by the way hii ilikuwa ni by the way nilikuwa napita tu hapo ni nini bali nakuja hapo <laughs> Farodhi hapo umesikia juu ya kuita <laughs> ay 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 my god my god my god woo glory be to jesus so get ready now get ready now get ready get ready this is a moment this is a time We are going deeper to the word of God. We are going deeper to the word of God. We are in the Song of Solomon chapter number 4. Song of Solomon chapter number 4. Song of Solomon chapter number 4. Chapter number 4. We are there. Mwana goni hata hiyo nimeona. So get your Bible, get your Bible just one minute. I love tuingia kiudani sana. <laughs> Leo Mungu anafurahisha mpaka na kile naongea hapa. I tell you. Leo lazima kuna ile nitaguza. Kidogo tu kuna ile nitaguza. Maana it is also very important. Very important. Lazima nitaiguza. <laughs> ay 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 sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you now. <laughs> so Song of Solomon chapter number 4. <laughs> look at this now, look at this now. We in verse number 9. We are starting verse number 9. <laughs> North wind and the south wind very important. Our topic north wind. <laughs> and uh, Wala bado bado haja leo hapo gojeni tu nakuja hapo. Hatuja fika hapo. Uh, ni topic tu nilikuwa na ajaribu ku, ku export kidogo. But sasa tunaingia. So angalia verse number 8, verse number 8. Tuko leo tunaanzia verse number 9. Mahali tulifika jana. Verse number 9 the Bible says you have stolen my heart. Oh guy, just imagine. Solomon is talking. Ananenea mtu wake anaambia kwamba umeimba roho yangu sasa you have stolen my heart <laughs> moyo wangu uko kwako i'm thinking about you umechukua my heart hati yangu iko kwako anamwambia and i thought manake these are the same same words mungu anaongea kwetu that's why we have the heart of god we have the heart of christ Because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth is speaking. So anytime you receive the word of God, you receive the heart of God because the word of God is the heart of God. Mm. <laughs> the heart the, the word of God is the heart of God. So nasema kwamba umeimba roho yangu. Wewe you have stolen my heart. Eh? Hati yangu uko nayo. Ndivyo namwambia you have my heart. Can I tell you something? We have the heart of God. That's why I like David. David was a man who was after God's heart. Ah. But listen to this now. Then I'm going to come you have stored in my heart. This one is very important. Not only kiroho but also kidoa. Ni muhimu sana. Ah, kukuwa na hati ya mpendo wako. Ah. Unajua kwamba kuri heart out of the abundance of the heart of the Holy Spirit. Watu wengi sana kile wanaongea unasikia kwamba 
<laughs> Kuna watu ambao wanaogea bali si kile kiko kwa mbio yao. Bora kitu kwa hati ya mtu you understand. Yeye hey, anapenda nini nataka nini. Yana sawa kwamba you have stolen my heart. Ndivyo anamwambia. Angalia hapa na nini then anasema namna gani? My sister and my bride. Remember those two words. Ameita majina mawili very powerful. Amemuita my sister and my bride. Remember tumesoma chapter number 1, chapter number 2, chapter number 3, but hatujaona kimuita sister until chapter number 4 and refer as sister. My sister. That one is very important hata wakati kwa watu ambao wanaoa alikuwa si tumeokoka. If anaita kwamba huyu mstana au bibi yake ni sister, meaning anajirifa kama brother. Inamaanisha kwamba they are from the same family. Anamwambia kwamba sisi ni wa familia moja. Meaning tumeona watu wa familia moja. Maana it is very important kuwa mtu wa familia ya kiroho yako. Very important. It is good to understand who is your sister, who is your brother. Marry from your family. Marry from your family. This is spiritual. Siongei ati wewe mtu wa familia. Wewe mtu wa familia yenu kiroho. That's what I say kwamba my sister and the same way Jesus Christ akituita anatuita hivyo. He is our firstborn. He is our firstborn. Sisi ni wa familia moja kupitia kwa kifo cha Yesu Kristo tulienda to another level. Abraham angefika that level. Akina Elijah hawakufika to that level. They were called the servants of God. Yule ambaye alienda level ya juu ni Abraham friend of God. But we are called the sons. We are daughters. We are sisters in the kingdom. So namwambia kwamba sisi ni wa familia moja. So ana identify yeye ni wa familia moja na yeye. Then anamuita my bride. This is the first time I'm a with a bride. The first time I'm a with a bride. Hapo wengine niko na muita my dove, my darling. Eh hey, majina matamu matamu. But hapo I'm a with my sister and my bride. First I'm a identify na yeye before sasa I'm with a kama watu ambao wameoana. I'm a identify no family moja. Na nilisema hapa there is no you can tell me kwamba utolewa na mtu ambaye wewe si wa familia moja. Mtu ambaye hajaokoka hao nao. Hao hakuwezekani. Tuliandalia hayo jana. Tukasema kwamba Adam was first in the process of God before Adam was pewe helper. Aliingizwa kwa Garden of Eden. Aliingizwa kwa process of God. That's it. Then I point you to the process of God. Then I kapewa work purpose. See job, I pewa work purpose not job. Na nilisema hapa nitakuja kufundisha hapa tofauti ya work na job. Imagine, first I give you the process of God, then number two kapewa purpose. Alafu Mungu ile ndio kama kana kwamba and the spiritual inside now, akaletoa nyama wa name. And then after that akaletoa helper. So how could I tell help her before I give you the presence of God? Then I can pour purpose. Then I can tell help her. Meaning, any man, lazima kuwa kwenye presence of God if anataka kuoa. Ah, then another thing, nisikize. Ay 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 ay. Then presence of God. That's number one. Number two, I do it according to vision yake purpose yake ni gani? Then aoe. That's it. That's, that's why msichana yote ambaye anataka kuoa lazima angalie mtu akana kwamba ako kwenye presence of God anajua purpose yake ni gani ana vision au ni mtu ambaye ana vision ili sasa kuje kuoa That's why hapa namuita my sister family moja sister and brother if you are my sister I am your brother then I'm with a bride see bride then sister ah uh-uh. ah sister comes first then bride Sister comes my sister my bride sister I may tell the first family moja We are one family with Jesus We are sons in the kingdom We are born in the kingdom of God before to okoke we we are born kwa familia zetu but after kuokoka we are born again in the kingdom we are sisters and brothers Very important Then I'm with my bride. My bride. Angalia next verse. 
you have stolen my heart you know as my wife you have stolen my heart yes my sister my bride my sister my bride I don't know kuna watu wao nasema pasta hapana huyu mtu aja okoka but naweza tunaweza wana ni muombee aokoke nisikize na unielewe ni kama vile unaweza sema kwamba utarara na msana before muone there is no reason ni biko bone zarana na msana muone maana bone we break trust it and every time ukikosana kwa nyumba atakuwa anakumbuka kwamba ulirana na yeye before muone na unakuta kwamba hata ku trust it and every time atakona na msana ataona kwamba unazarana na yeye vile ulirara na yeye so kuna trust una break furthermore ume make a covenant outside marriage and god willing maybe tomorrow tuko na furuta angalia those demonic covenants manake kuna watu wanaona foto na demonic covenant zingine mbaya there is no way unazarana na mtu before muone una make covenant outside marriage Unaweka so tie outside marriage. Una raise sex order outside marriage. Nate mtawana that order can speak against your marriage. That covenant can speak against your marriage. There is no testing. Mm, tukua kitu. Eda eda agaria kwa nyumba. Wasana bomu nasikiza hapa hakuna kujaribu jaribu hapo utajaribuwa na wengi if kila mtu atakuja kuna kujaribu ili muone na hotif uh, uproposive na watu 20 meaning utakuwa unatestiwa na watu 20 kila mtu testi yake unajua kwamba sike unjua kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anaweza sema kwamba mtesti kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuchukua gari hapa peke town bali kuna mtu ambaye anaweza anachukua hapa peke mpaka na Ivasha na ni testing tu na haja nunua It is not biblical. By the way you may ruin your marriage because of that. That's why you need to understand this. Kile kimeandikwa mahali hapa maana yake ni muhimu sana. Don't allow that. I married my wife na tukurana na yeye before tuone case closed maana kimkuwa kwa nyumba unless you break that thing kila time mtakuwa na mkorofania usual alikuwa anaona kwamba if you did date na mimi you can do it na anybody else Mana kama mtu amefanya once anaweza fanya twice anaweza fanya twice that's it No see the guy na mtu anabii kwa reason na once no hakuna once if kuna once kuna twice eh hey. Ana so ndo mingi sana zinaharibika Mana kama from there trust ina vunjika hata mko kwa do you cannot trust that person Mama weka covenant kwa kitaka Covenant kwa kitaka kwa majani mumweka covenant in fact Wala <laughs> praise God and thank God you're strong karibu <laughs> sana imagine if ibaya sana kuchukua mtu mnarana na yeye na hamjawana that covenant itamstua mkiona hiyo covenant tamharibu mna make covenant kwa kichaka imagine kwa rojin Mnaenda kwa roji na mtu ambaye unataka kuoa, mna make that covenant na hamjawana, una break virginity kwa roji, una break virginity kwa mchanga, mchanga na hujui kana kwamba hiyo mchanga kuna covenant baya ziko kwa mchanga. Na mnaenda kuona love waits. Anybody who cannot wait that's not love, that's last. Hey. There, there is a difference between love and last. If you are lasting after someone una last year mlale na yeye get this The Bible says I know kila mtu ananisikiza najua mko kwa sana 
But wacha tu tuseme hapa kwa sababu huyu ni ukweli. There are so many people today wameharibu dua zao ni kwa sababu ya kile ambacho walifanya. Not, not, not only that. Kuna watu ambao wameharibu dua zao right now kwa sababu wameoa na bado na bado unatoka nje kwa sababu ulikuwa ma make that covenant. Ulilana na your wife before muone officially. Uka make that covenant na your covenant inakuita. That's why mpaka wa leo auto shake na maji yako. Rasa mpaka leo mama still maji yako yanakunywa na watu wengine Nabii anasema kwamba maji yako mwanaume anaambia kwamba enjoy maji yake peke yake si kumwaga mwaga maji kwa barabara Divyo Bible inasema there so many people ukiara kwa barabara utakuta maji yao imamwagika huko Hello Unasema kwamba nimesamehewa dhambi no you can do that it ruin doa yako Aniambia amen hapo. <laughs> yes, we are here. That's why I'm with my sister, my sister and my bride. Brother and sister, they are one family. One family. One family. Uh, one family. Na ninakuja hapo kwa sababu nakuja hapo kwa hiyo point ya kwamba hakuna kumwaga maji na huko tosheka na maji yako au show you hapa chini that's why namwambia kwamba my hey, jua my garden mm, jua my garden na kisima kimefunikwa imaji anasema hivyo Ha Ni wewe ni kisi my ah jua my garden na kisima chako kimefunikwa akija funuliwa maji yako haijaguzwa She is still virgin kisima kimefunikwa Anaomba you my gear you are enclosed you are my enclosed garden wewe ni garden imefunikwa you are protected haujakubali shamba igiwe igiwe na kila mtu haujakubali watu ingie kwa hii shamba you are enclosed garden wewe ni kisima kisima kiko sealed eh, ni mimi nitatoa that seal nobody else nastaki kutoa seal kwa barabara nataka hiyo seal tukibarikiwa kwa ota uu kalaba ba shalaba kwa ota Kwaota, kwaota ukibarikiwa kwaota. Sasa naweza toa that seal. You are seal the fountain. That's it. Goja sasa nisikize. Leo tunaongea wale ambao mjaolewa. Wacha kisima chako kiwe seared. Mm. Shimala baloza la mama shanda I feel like speaking tongues now Man this one is very important Man like I am about sometimes tunayaachilia hivyo That's when ukutoka today to stand at dogo tunaingia kwa mambo ya gono to stand at dogo tunapata mimba Bila kuelewa you are raising covenants now Very important Angalia video namwambia hapa and I'm going you have sold my heart. Then excuse me. With one gran <laughs> one grants of your eyes. Kuniangalia tu hivyo mara moja na jito yako. Mm. Hebu angalie kwanza ametaja kwamba umechukua my heart. My heart. Have my heart. Have my heart. And we are supposed to have the heart of Christ. That's one thing. We are supposed to understand we are one family in Christ. We are supposed to understand that the bride of Christ. Then matter focus, vision, insight. We are supposed to now to focus to Jesus. Na tunaona matter yake ni ya dove. Na kila time tunasema kwamba dove inaitwa love bird. Sabu huwa zinaangaliana kila time. Zinaangaliana, zinapendana, zinaangaliana. Nikasema kwamba wakati mimi dove imekufiwa na female dove inakaa single, ayoi. Inakaa hivyo. Sabu zinapendana. Ikoroyo sana. Haiwezi toka nje ya doa. Ni kama ego, haiwezi toka nje ya doa. Kila time zinaangaliana. Mimi David naangalia kina mume kwamba macho yako ukiniangalia na nipendeza. Hakuna kitu ambacho kinapendeza. Jesus, 
kama wakati umefocus kwake kama time unamtazama sema kwamba macho yako ahaha wakati unamtazama macho yako aisikiza macho yako nafurahisho nayo wakati ananitazama so jesus christ anapenda tumwangalie jesus christ anapenda tu focus kwake the same way focus to your man focus to your wife now mm wacha kuona hao wengine ona wako that's it very important angalia namwambia kwamba with your one jewel of your necklace remember to know kwamba ni nini kimea kwa kwenye necklace kwa song of song chapter number 1 necklace ile ilikuwa na hapo ni ya god divine nature character ya christ let you know in order to your will that's why kuna watu ambao they stiff naked watu ambao ni stubborn but neck yake iko na character mzuri will yake sio yake a a ni mpendo wake in still chapter number 4 tuko na kwamba kwa neck kuna shield why shield speaks of faith 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 so akiangalia neck yake necklace anaona divine 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 nature character of jesus sio wili yake it is about will ya jesus wili ya bwana yake hapa notone za kwa neck and on a faith shield mm yani sema tari nasikia hiyo bado tuna bado tutaingia volume itakuwa sawa <laughs> ah I'm next verse I like it how the rightful how the rightful my sister my br- again and i to hivo my sister my bride one family then marriage you cannot marry outside your family family of the lord always yom to buy hada okoka no light and darkness cannot mingle no way no way no way mm. that's it that's it to say ma come adam na sema bone of my bone fresh of my fresh it is character first before angalia beauty ya nje ona dani first very important how much i like it excuse me how much more pleasing is your love than wine so msikiza hapa ni solomon anamwambia i can see your love na nyonyesha unanyonyesha upendo mimi nimekuonyesha upendo na unanionyesha upendo. Kama na watu ambao wameamini Kristo, kile kimekuokoa, it is the love of God and the cross. Vile tunajua the love of God is kuona vile Mungu alipeana mwana wa pekee afe kwa msalaba kwa dhirabi zetu. That's the love of God. Was you understand the love of God? <laughs> okay, understand the love of God now. You can love God. Ah. Na hapo unisikiza na unielewe. Tunapenda Mungu kwa sababu alitupenda kwanza. Unless you understand the love of God, you cannot love God. The only way to love God it is to understand his love. Uki okay, understand vile amakupenda kwa msalaba, that's the only way you can love him. No can utobea na ngangana kupenda Mungu. Ni mtombe hadi understand vile Mungu anampenda. Get this upendo wa Mungu is unconditional it is agape alikupenda ukuwa mwenye tambi alikupenda ukuwa dui alikupenda ukuwa bado unadaganya na akakupenda that's the love of god so na wewe utampenda ukijua vile amekupenda na bibi anasema kama kama vile Mungu ametupenda tupende mpaka watu wale wengine how can you love god is and someone hapa who can understand Mungu amekupenda unconditionally utapenda rafiki yako unconditionally Unapenda mwenzako na agape not fury or study or rudus or frautia no agape a love that does not keep record of wrongs a love that covers a multitude of sins ana mwambie namna gani ah angalia your love 
How much more pleasing is your love than wine? So Solomon will come and understand. Mtu wake na mpenda. It is my prayer today. May God see the love you have for him. Wacha Mungu kuangalia hivi Sara Amiri. Mungu anaona kwamba kwa hakika Sara ananipenda. Mm. Ananipenda. How? Kwa maana may understand upendo wangu. Gadis. Skiza hapa. Then anamwambia the ointment ile mafuta umejipaka ni mazuri kuliko mafuta yote. Ah, Solomon hakuanzia na mafuta. Can you hear this? Takuelewe hapa. Aliyezeni kumwambia kwamba umechukua my heart. So anytime mimi nakuona naona ni wewe you have my heart. You carry my heart. That was the first statement. Then I come on you from the same family sister then marriage bride Then from that kangari hapa tukona kwamba naona macho yake focus anamwangalia focus focus Then akaona character hapa shingo will hafuati will yake shingo akaona shingo Then akaona ule upendo anamuonyesha Then from there now hapa anataja juu ya mafuta Hey Rakora shala barore randa bahanda Si hata usisikie mtu ameiba roho wangu unasikia pana hii hii moyo wangu unajaribu kuipea wainaina iko na kamau na mliyetana na kamau bati roho unakuta kwa bado although mliyetana na kamau bado roho iko na kamau Aliba your heart I know kuna watu ambao sasa hata wameolewa unasikia kwamba huyu mtu umeoana na yeye hati haiko kwake Hati bado iko na yule yule mwingine. Hello. Tuko pamoja hapa. Hai <laughs> unisikize sasa na unitegea hapa. Anamwambia juu ya ointment, mafuta. And can I tell you something? And I see tuko na mafuta. We have the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit ana to anoint. Na Mungu anafurahishwa wakati anaona kwamba vile mafuta inafanya kazi kwetu. Jesus Christ who is our husband, who is our father. Anafurahia wakati anaona vile mafuta yanafanya kazi. Kama sasa yeye anafurahishwa na kile tunafanya hapa, mafuta yanafanya kazi. Mafuta yanafanya kazi. Ah. <laughs> Listen to this. Verse number 11 is very important. Verse number 11 is very important. <laughs> Don't miss this one. Anamwambia kwamba your lips drop sweetness as on honeycomb. Eh eh, anamwambia kwamba kinywa <laughs> kinywa tako your lips, your lips. Lips zina drop sweetness. <laughs> They drop sweetness <laughs> as honeycomb. Come on about shalaba. Woo! Anamwambia kwamba kile kinatoka kwa lips zako kiko kana hamniko. Ni nini kinatoka kwenye kinywa chake? Praise the name of the living God. Don't miss this manake. This one is very important. Ile kusaidia na tone ile kiroho. Bara hata kifamilia. <laughs> Nazi, ulizo watu hapa anakuambia. Wanada usaiona kwamba mtu ambaye unapenda hakupendi. Yule ambaye anakupenda ni yule haupendi. Unajiona hivyo? Unasikia kwamba hii mshana kwamba huyu anaweza ni propose. Bado unakuta kwamba yule ambaye amekupropose. Eh, bi kuria sasa. Nataka leo mpaka watombo hawaongei kile watasikia hapa lazima wataongea i tell you lazima before to fike pale kwa northwind na southwind lazima wataongea <laughs> so angali hii verse maana kuna hii verse nataka uione maana this one this verse is very very important proverbs 16 wacha nikusome proverbs 16 proverbs chapter number 16 ay 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 
Are, are we together here? <laughs> <laughs> don't miss this don't miss this one now anamwambia kinywa chake Yeah, thank you Felix kwa sababu umekuja kufanya kazi mzuri sana. Mzuri sana. Maana ukielewa kila mtu tunasoma mahali hapa kuna mambo ambayo yata change from there. Eh, kuna watu wanaambia kwa pasta it happens. Yakobo inakuwa hivyo. Yeah. Sometimes unastukia hivyo, mambo yamekuwa hivyo. Kinywa chake lips zake. Kile kinatoka pale. Mitamu ah. kana hanikob and then kuna kitu kinanijenga sana in a book of proverb ndio kusomea sasa hivi bibi anasema hivi ya kwamba pleasant words they are like hanikob pleasant words they are like hanikob pleasant words they are like hanikob na mwambie kwamba lips are ni kama hanikop. So ndiko namwambia kwamba kile kinatoka kwenye kinywa kinywa chako ni maneno mazuri. Si maneno ya matusi. Kuna toka worship. Ni maneno ya kuninua mimi kama Mungu. Maneno ya kuninua kama mimi mwanako. Lips zako. Zinatoka utamu kama hanikop. Have you asked this? Kinywa chako kinatoka nini? Ndio na kama kina kinywa vinywa vingine vinatoka mambo mengine yanazestuka. Huruna ni dada but kinywa chake kinatoka uchafu. Anaweza kutusi maneno 20 yanafuatana. Anaweza kuita sugura, anaweza kuita yani una shida hii neno ametoa wapi? Karibu kutusi ile neno baya sana ukitusi mtu kimuita hiyo mamtusi sana. Kimuita goroeno. Hiyo ndio neno ile baya sana kutusi mtu nayo. Imagine But anamwambia kwamba wewe kinywa chako kinatoka utamu kama sari. Thank you already kuna watu wengi sana hapa wame post. Thank you. Proverb. Umekewa hapa Proverb 16:24 present words are as a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healthy to the bones. So yale maneno unaongea hata kuandoa mata za lot whether we ni mzee whether we ni mama yale maneno unaongea mata za lot maneno matamu ni kama hanikob kinywa chako wakati kinatoka hanikob kinatoka maneno mazuri nasema namwambia kwamba kinywa chako woo kinatoka maneno mazuri it is my prayer anybody hearing my voice ya kwamba kinywa chako kitoke maneno mazuri Ogea maneno mazuri juu ya ndoa yako. Ogea maneno mazuri juu ya bibi yako, juu ya bwanako. Wacha kinywa chako kitoke maneno mazuri. Maneno haya maneno mazuri ni kama hanikob yanaponya soul. Na yanafanya mpaka mifupa ah, mahidi. Ni dawa ya mahidi. Anapea mpaka mifupa afya. Kuna watu mbona inawezekana wao ustuke na ile maneno natoka. It is my prayer kwamba kinywa chako kitatoka maneno mazuri. After this someone kinywa chako kitoke maneno mazuri. Ha ha ha. Ai 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 angalia vile anamwambia. Na vile anamwambia. Anamwambia namna gani? My bride milk and honey are under your tongue so kile kiko chini ya ulimi wake ni milk and honey woo shela la zori ba milk and honey are under your tongue so kile meweka chini ya ulimi wake ni milk and honey woo jesus Let me go deeper here. Let me go deeper here. Let me go deeper here. Ah. Ah. Milk and honey are your tongue. What is the nini ni kotini ya urimi wako? Ni nini ukifungua kinywa kinasikika? 
Manake kile kiko chini ya urimu wake ni milk and honey. What is milk and honey remember? Wana wa Israeli wakiwa Misri. Walibona Mungu na mpeleka Kanan. Kanan. Na Kanan is a land. Amo sasa imejaa flowing with milk and honey. So milk and honey speaks of the promises of God. Manake milk and honey zilikuwa Kanan. Mungu na mpeleka mahali pa maziwa na asari na kile kiko chini ya urimi wake ni milk and honey meaning kile ambacho unaongea na urimi remember urimi wake ni karamu kile ambacho unaandika unaongea unaandika Yes your tongue is the hand of the mouth Each and every time you speak you write in the spirit of out na kuna watu ambao wanajifunga na urimi wao Kuna watu ambao wamefunga doa zao na ulimi wao very important kuna watu ambao wameharibu mpaka biashara zao na ulimi wao maana kwenye ulimi wako kuna life and death imagine imagine so ulimi wako lazima uweke promises of god milk can honey Man, can you can have speaks of the promises of God. Kuna ongea the promises of God. Ongea those promises. Tabiria hiyo ndoa yako, tabiria watoto wako. Hata kuhaujolewa, jitabiria sema ninaolewa. Eh, tangaza kile ambacho baba amesema juu yako. Miu can honey. Ulimi wako chini ya ulimi kuna miu can honey. Tangaza are the promises of God. What does he manifest in your life? Speak me you can honey. Ah, ah. Can you hear me even if you are sick? Speak me you can honey. Eh, even if mwanako anakunywa, speak me you can honey. Waza kumwambia kwamba mimi niko najua hiki kinalewa tu. Mm, unamwambia kwamba hao ndonga tiga zohiwe. Imagine Wacha ulimi wako kuwe na milk and honey. Promises of God. You are not speaking promises of God. Imagine. Kararara. Ah, Solomon anambia mpendo wake, I know kwako. Ulimi wako haujajaa vitu mbaya. Kile kiko chini ya ulimi, it is milk and honey. Kile kinatoka ni milk. Kile kinatoka ni honey ni asari. Please and words. Lelo lo shalabalama ni milk. Neno la Mungu maziwa ya watu ambao wamebi hawajakuwa ni kitu kizuri kitu cha kutuliza kitu ku comfort I wish tunaweza pata watu ambao unaita watu, watoto wako outer call unawaita meeting kwa nyumba unawatangazia mambo mazuri before chai wa wafuate unawatabiria unamwambia wewe utakuwa mtu wa maana sana Maneka there is greatness in you. Nenea mpaka kwenu, alikuwa kwenu mmefrisika, alikuwa alizaliwa kwenu mkukiwa na uchawi, alikuwa kwenu alizaliwa watu wa kuwa makufa na ufatana, alikuwa alizaliwa kwenu watu wa kuwa na majini. You can declare things. Sema kwamba then God was born in that family. Maneka I'm going to make this family change. Atilia maziwa na asari in your family. Usiitangaza kifo, usiitangaza utashindwa. Maneka kuna mapepo yanasikiza kile unaongea. Na ukiongea neno negative yale mapepo yanaempower kile ambacho unaongea it is my prayer kile kiko chini ya ulimi wako ni maziwa na asari aha la korisho bagari mazete kala hata biashara yako iko hakuna ma customers enda mahali pale you are carrying the ointment in you you are carrying the kingdom of god tabiria that business be a business hear my voice that says the lord aha amebariki kazi ya mikono yangu najua kwamba bible inasema book of isaiah and then he train on how to make profit aha in the book of deuteronomy he gives me ability power anointing to make well how to confirm his covenant and i am product of that covenant meaning and i'm pay anointing to prosper to confirm that covenant 
You are speaking the word of God. You are speaking milk and honey. And I declare tonight as you listen to me. How to I shin or how to I kuwa na utasa. How to I kuwa stagnated in your life. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Mm. Before uskize zile na bizi na leto wakwako. <laughs> now let's keep it over there and listen to me Maneke. this one is very important get this God had to create through speaking God had to create through speaking let there be light let there be light then I could speak he saw that the light was good. He saw what he spoke. So kiri eliongea di toriona. Manake kiri onogea kina manifest. Very important. Nirikombi koba raisho wakati liponya kareka sana ka shuna mighty woman. Kuna kitu warifanya Mbele ni siku wana understand wana alifanya hivyo. Alipokuta kale kakatoto kama kwa kwenye kile kitanda chake, alikuwa ametengenezwa kwa ile room upper room, alikuwa ametengenezwa na Shuna Mighty Woman. Ariad and Road of Authority, Staff of Authority, Staff of the Covenant. Akaingia kwa that room. Akaenda mahali kale katoto kama wekoa. Then aka distress kwa kale katoto. Bina sema kwa akaguzisha kinywa chake kwa kinywa cha mtoto then macho yake kwa macho ya mtoto then mikono yake kwa mikono ya mtoto Ebu imagine the order is very important Bible haijasema aliguzisha macho kinywa mikono no this is the order anasema kinywa macho mikono kinywa comes first not macho get that Get this and unskize. Aliguzo wapi? First kinywa. Then macho. Then mikono. Hoe kinywa. Maneke what you speak comes first. Kila unaongea utakiona na dito sasa utakifanya. You speak first kinywa. Then what you speak you see. Then after seeing it now, uanza kuifanya mikono. Baze very important. Bado tukiongeza masikio. Masikio yanakuja before uone. Na yanakuja hata before skize. Masikio comes first. Tukiongeza masikio. That's why Elijah alisema kwamba nimesikia a sound of abundance of rain. Gurumo nimesikia mvua inakuja. Arisikia, arisikia, akasikia nao. After kusikia nao, akatuma servant ende yangari aone. But it is very important what you hear. What you hear, speak it. Once you speak it now, you will see it. Then once you see it, unazaifanya. Urimi wako. Chini urimi wako. There is honey and there is milk. Under your tongue, there is honey and there is milk. It is my prayer. May you carry honey and milk under your tongue. May you carry honey and milk under your tongue. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible in a summer combo will swim to a kuangea haraka, will swim a pesu a kuang, will swim to a kuangea haraka, will swim to a kuangea. Kuna watu ambao wanaongea haraka sana ukisikia kitu unaongea. Jefida alijifunga. Aliongea haraka sana baba nikienda kwa vita unipe victory. Kile kitatoka kwa nyumba yangu fast. Nitakitoa sacrifice kwako. Akaongea kwa haraka. In those days ngombe zilikuwa zinakaa kwa nyumba mbuzi kwa zinakaa kwa nyumba. So ndio nafikiria kama kile kitatoka kwa kwanza ni mbuzi. Matuli ambayo tutoka kwanza ni mstana wake. 
na ni msichana wa pekee but aliongea kwa haraka hakuelewa the victory Mungu anampea it is not in accordance to the vow ambao ana make no it is a holy spirit ambaye alikuwa anakuja juu yake alikuwa anampea victory na babu says the holy spirit came upon defida wakati alikuwa anapigana vita when the spirit of god came upon defida the spirit empowered defida to win but already alikuwa amejifunga kwa kinyo chake maana yake aliongea kwa haraka akajifunga na unajua kama ukitamka kitu lazima utimize ukisema utafanya kitu lazima utimize maana yake unajifunga na kinywa chako but I still hakuna elewa kwamba in the bible vows were redeemed in the old testament we make vow afu na kama hivyo siwezi timiza uge redeem that vow that's why in Leviticus 27 kuna redemption ya vows whether ni vow ya mwanamke au ni vow ya mwanamume but hakuna elewa that verse ya kwamba anaweza redeem that vow but in the now alipena mstana akawa sasa hakuolewa akawa virgin maisha yake na hakuolewa na alikuwa na huyo mstana tu peke yake sababu aliongea kwa haraka it is my prayer kwamba under your tongue kutakuwa na milk and honey under your tongue kukuwa na milk and honey very very important ni nini kiko chini ya urimi wako is it milk and honey or what is that very important kile ambacho unaongea very important kile ambacho unaongea follow me we are going deeper Nime sema Old Testament vows were redeemed. Old Testament vows were redeemed. So now, nisikize angalia vile hiyo verse ingine inasema. This one is this one is powerful. Anasema namna gani? Aha. Miu can honey around your tongue. Maana kekile unaongea mata za Lord. Angalia The fragrance of your garments is like that of Lebanon. Anasema nguo zake ile garment ilikuwa nayo. Nguo yake inanukua vizuri. Anasema ni kama nini? Is like that of Lebanon. Lebanon. Maana ke bao za Lebanon zikuwa zinatoka harufu nzuri sana. Anamekuwa kwamba nguo yake still inanukia manukato mazuri. Maana ke garment speaks of righteousness. Government speaks of righteousness. Government speaks of righteousness. So in short, alikuambia kwamba thy righteousness utakatifu wako unanipendeza. Si tumepewa government righteousness of God. Atuendi mbele za Mungu with our own righteousness. No. Righteousness yako ni kama nguo imeraruka. We have the righteousness of God. Na nisema kwamba utakatifu unapewa haufanyi. You believe to be made righteous. Unaamini unafanya mtakatifu. Na so mimi personally napenda story ya Jacob na Esau walipenda before Isaac. Ala kalala. If kuna story naipenda ni hiyo. Maana ke Jacob hako ame qualify kubarikiwa na Isaac. In accordance to the rule yule bali kuna fa ku receive double portion yule bali kulikuwa na fa ku priest wa nyumba yule bali kuna na fa ku kiongozi wa nyumba was Esau not Jacob So Jacob sheria haiko na muruhusu abarikiwe kama firstborn Esau ni alikuwa na fa kubarikiwa Barebe kakasikia kile ambacho wusha balalona 
Rebeka kaske kile ambacho Isaac kabona kamesema na kaona kwamba atasaidia Jacob abarikiwe Gadis the reason why Jacob anasaidiwa barikiwe ni kwa maana yeye alikuwa laniwe haja qualify kubarikiwa bali anasaidiwa na Rebeka ili abarikiwe Takoni tega no nisikize and that's why kile ambacho Rebeka alifanya alina katafuta two goats two goats ili Jacob abarikiwe Rebeka alitafutia Jacob two goats why two goats manaka in Leviticus 16 kwenye bill of atonement kuna goat mbili zilikuwa zinatumika goat moja inakufia dhambi goat nyingine inabeba dhambi and i brief remember old testament is a shadow and a type remember new testament is conceived in the old testament So anytime you read Old Testament you see New Testament. That's why you're supposed to read the Old Testament with the mentality of the New Testament. So that's why I repair two goats and every person I look at this there is no way Isaac agamaliza two goats. No way. Hange maliza mbuzu wawili, hange maliza mbuzu wawili, hange maliza mbuzu wawili, hange maliza. Uh-uh. Hange maliza mbuzu wawili. So how mbuzu wawili uko na picture Jesus Christ? ambaye amekufia mbuzi moja amekufia dhambi na mbuzi zingine amebeba dhambi two goats zile zikuwa zinatoa the time of atonement akapewa two goats ili abarikiwe can i tell you mimi siko ni barikiwe kile kimefanya ni barikiwe is two goats jesus christ he is over two goats ni alikufia na ni aliondoa dhambi mbuzi moja inabeba inakufia dhambi mbuzi zingine inabeba dhambi That's the reason why I'm blessed. Because of two gods, Jesus Christ. He is two in one. Jesus Christ, two in one. Get this and follow me closely. Maneka this is sweet and deeper. So Rebecca did you come and I told you Jacob and I told you two gods are coming and there. See Jacob and the Genesa. Ikazi yako to ya pale ilifanywa na Rebecca. Manaka ili ni barikiwe before my father. Hey, hey. Kazi yote ili ni barikiwe. Si mimi nilifanya, ilifanywa na Jesus. Ndio sorry mpea two goats na nyama za two goats. Get this. Alafu hakuenda na nguo zake. Balo hola zeta ka. Hapana. Kwanza alifunika mikono yake. Akaifunika na ngozi ya mbuzi. Get up mikono yake ikapewa another nature maneka kuna old nature as long as babake ageguza the old nature eh ageguza the old nature jacob ageraniwa ili bibi rebeka aweke another nature do you know what mimi nimepewa another nature yes there is that nature in me But hai na nguvu nimepewa another nature the divine nature na wakati sasa naenda kubarikiwa Mungu haangalii the old nature anaangalia the new nature the divine nature in me na so aliwekwa ngozi ngozi kafunikwa na ngozi ngozi ya nini mbuzi hata mimi nimefunikwa na ngozi ya mbuzi nimefunikwa na nature of the divine nature ya Jesus Christ who died for me i have another nature nimefunikwa nature ya zamani That's why you need to nature. Maneke hata wewe, nature yako ya zamani imefunikwa. As long as you are believer, the sin of nature. Woo, shakere barama roze kanda. Can you hear what I'm saying? Umefunikwa na another nature, the divine nature. But now listen to this. Nitege. Notoni kufunikwa. Nimesema first report mbuzi mbili. Then akafunikwa ngozi yake nete yake ya zamani. Then hakuenda na mavazi yake. Hakuenda na mavazi yake. No. Ali Rebecca, Rebecca alikuwa na mavazi ya Esau kwa nyumba yake. Na hiyo kwa that time already Esau alikuwa ameoa na alikuwa ameoa bibi wawili. But Rebecca alikuwa na nguo na ile nguo alikuwa nayo si ni ya Esau so alikuwa na nguo ya firstborn kwa hivyo Jacob akenda before Isaac hakuwa na nguo yake self righteousness alipewa another garment alipewa garment ya nani garment ya firstborn 
Who is our firstborn? Jesus Christ is our firstborn from the dead. Na tumepewa the garment of Jesus. Atuendi before kwa maombi yetu with our garment. No, no, no. Ah. Apana, <laughs> just like Elisha, he wakati sasa garment, the mantle of Elijah ilishuka, alirerua nguo yake. Akachukua the mantle of Elijah, arasisi tumerua utakatifu wetu. We don't need our righteousness. Maneka we have the garment of our firstborn. Who is our firstborn? She just Christ, he is our firstborn. So anytime we are walking, natembea na nguo ya Esau, natembea na nguo ya our firstborn, she just Christ, nimefunikwa the old nature. I have the divine nature. Nimebeba buzi wawili, buzi moja nasimamia, dhabi zangu zimefunikwa, zime kufiwa, hizi zingine zimeondolewa not kufunikwa. Hello somebody, are you listening to me now? So Jacob kwa ripewa nguo ya Esau manake hangaenda na nguo yake manake kienda na nguo yake atalaniwa manake according to the rule sheria inasema nafaa kulaniwa so is only the grace that can help Jacob to be blessed na yule baba atamsaidia barikiwe was Rebecca kama vile yule baba anisaidia barikiwe it is Jesus <laughs> woo <laughs> la cora zeka la listen to this Alafu Rebecca akamwambia Jacob alikuwa na uoga alikuwa anauliza hii nikienda baba ataniguza eh natasikia sio mimi na atanilaani akamwambia kwa ukiraniwa let that curse come upon me gala so who was to carry that curse of Jacob that curse was to be carried by Rebecca. Rebecca alisema kwamba babako akikurani, hii kazi nimefanya. Babako akikurani, let that curse come upon me. So alikuwa anamwambia kwamba as long as umefuata kile alimkomba aliambiwa just listen to my voice. Just listen to my voice. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Kama kwa ukiraniwa haitakufuata I'm carrying your curse. Jesus Christ alibeba lana zetu kwa msalaba. The reason why I came as I'm not cursed is because Jesus Christ was made cursed and I'm blessed. Alibeba magodo I'm free. Woo! Rakori za kandi morandi ya zata. Alibeba, alibeba chochote kilikuwa kina ni Alibeba ile foundation baya ya kwetu akanipea yeye kama Can you listen to me? He is my foundation now. Ah, Roshi Rizanara. Listen to this, Lord. This is sweet. Rebecca Kabia Jacob. Wakati unaenda before your father. Remember now. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Woo! This is sweet. This is powerful. Alimwambia wakati umeenda mahali pale don't use your name don't use your name no no ukiulizwa sema your name is Esau so jitabrisha na jina la firstborn maneka if you go with your name you be cast don't you if you want to be blessed Jacob don't use your name no if Jacob we want you to be blessed you have been given another name and if you use that name you're going to be blessed you use the name of a sow sema you are a sow amepewa another name kwenda nayo through that name I can another name atabarikiwa and I had a name of the firstborn a sow when the firstborn was a sow I had in a jina yake and I had a jina a sow who is a firstborn can I tell you in order for Kevin to be blessed I don't go before my God with my name I was given another name the name of my firstborn Jesus and I use the name of Jesus to be blessed that's why in the time that schools are my people I use the name of Jesus in the time now my father I don't use my name I use the name of my firstborn Jesus I am not Jacob I'm a sow <laughs> <laughs> I don't use my name. No. No. 
No, no. No, I was given another thing. I was given another thing. Another name. The name of Jesus. So, Ariabu Kobo, don't go with your name. Don't use your name. Use the name of the firstborn, Esau. I use the name of my firstborn, Jesus. <laughs> You'll be blessed. Woo! That's why every time you read Genesis, in every verse you are supposed to see Jesus. You are supposed to see the cross. And now I'm going to take it on the skis. Then I come back take bread and wine. So, take two goats. Then take bread and wine. So, okay, then a bread and wine. Ah. Oh, and then the two goats. Zina picture atonement. More than a fear that beginning on door thumbi. Then don't forget carry bread and wine. Why bread and wine? Bread speaks of the body of Jesus Christ. Wine speaks of the blood. Woo! Shaboraraka. Carry the body. Then the blood. Bread and wine. Body. Blood. Go in the name of a sow. Go in the name of Jesus. Don't use your garment. Use the garment of an enemy. I don't use my garment. Use the garment of Jesus. <laughs> I have covered you with a skin. I've given you another nature. I've been given another nature. I will carry the cars. He carried the cars. Then, can you listen to this? But when you say, I Isaac, I hug. I kiss. Wakat I kiss Jacob. I smell guo. <laughs> I smell a boozy. Guo, the smell of guo, it is funny about the kiwi. The smell of guo, guo bao siwayake. I smell a guo, I smell a guo, it is smell. Ah, ya nini, ya muzi. Marek, it's an every time. Mungu kiangalia, angali my righteousness. And I know the righteousness of Jesus. I know the righteousness I've been given. Nana smell the sacrifice of Buzi, the sacrifice of Jesus. Because of the smell of the sacrifice, not my sacrifice, the sacrifice of God, Jesus, who is one, two in one. <laughs> I'm blessed. The government is very important. That's why Solomon had smell the government. The government. Government. I remember the parable of Jesus Christ. 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 How come so many get an angwayako? Maybe we in Jamari na pare ko geti kapewa ile nguo. Asama kwa mi yangu ni mzuri kuri kuhi. Asama kwa mata ingi an angwayake ya. Na hiyo si ya Rusi. It is not about your garment. It is about his garment. That's why when the prodigal son came back home, the Bible says that he put on the best robe in the house, and the best robe in the house was the robe of the father. I put on the robe of the father. I can fully cover the righteousness of the father. Can I tell you? You have the garment of the father. You have the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of Jehovah. Au jafanya mtakatifu kwa sababu umekuwa mtu mzuri. Ah ah, umefanya mtakatifu kwa maana umeamini. The more you believe that, the more you receive the one, the more righteousness in a man face. In Christ we don't struggle to stop things. No. No, no, no. No. Mm -mm. Oh, shabara mama mama. Can you hear all I'm saying? That's why Solomon sema kwamba I smell the fragrance. I smell the fragrance. Very important. Very, very important. Look at this now. <laughs> Woo! Are we still together? Mpakapo. Au mepotea. Jesus. Are we still together now? Maneke, this one is sweet. You must understand this. You must understand this.
<laughs> so uko na guo ya nani? Yako au umepewa? Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Uko na garment ya Jesus who is your firstborn? Can I say it again? Uko na garment ya Jesus. You are blessed not because of your righteousness. No. No. You are blessed because of his righteousness. No wonder the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Bible in Twitter to seek the righteousness. Man, can you seek, you pursue righteousness. You don't do righteousness. The Bible says, blessed are those who are dusty and hunger for righteousness. Because they will be filled. Because you are filled with righteousness. Una hang and una dust for righteousness. Once you believe the finished work of the cross, you are filled with righteousness. Righteousness is a gift. Anybody hearing my voice? You are blessed because of his righteousness. Una is a corner weakness, but you are still blessed because of his righteousness. Don't concentrate on your weakness. Concentrate on who you are in Christ. See yourself as righteous. Manaka, the more you see yourself as righteous, the more you're being transformed. Don't see yourself as a cast person. See yourself as a blessed person. Paul ili sema hapo mbele tuko tunaangalia watu na macho yetu mbali nao tunaangalia watu in Christ any time na foku diangalia diangalia na perspective of Christ that's it you don't have your own righteousness you have the righteousness of Christ now because of that righteousness you are blessed. <laughs> because of that righteousness, you are blessed. Look at this. Angali verse. And don't miss this one now. Ido in the Jenga verse 12. Kila mtu concentrate in the verse 12 now. Shala baba. Lo shabagaribo. Zegala malanda. Angali vila ni muambi. Ani muita komba. You are a garden locked up. Mm -mm. Sasa ameacha kumuita sister. Ameacha kumuita bride now. Anamuita kwamba wewe ni shamba yangu. Mhm. Mm eh, hey, wewe ni shamba. Naweza kuja huko kwa shamba na nilime shamba yangu. <laughs> but one thing I have about Solomon anasema kwamba you are locked come garden. Manaka garden, the garden. But Emelindo na ukuta manaka in those days. Wa family kwa na garden. Mzuri sana pale kwa Paris. Na waka garden. Kalikuwa kanalido vizuri sana kana tenganezo wa mawe wall. Kanalido na mawe wall. Imagine. Wall of stones pale. Iri madu wa singie. Na wanyama wa singie. Only mfalme te munenda kujionea shamba yake. Ni yetu wangengie pale jionea shamba. Mm, if kuna tumatunda akure But I say Get this You are a garden locked up When the shamba melindo na ukuta Anybody hearing my voice You are a locked garden You are a protected garden You are not exposed to demons You are not exposed to curses You are not exposed to stagnation You are not exposed to failure You are a locked you are an enclosed garden. Wewe ni shamba imelindwa. Imelindwa ni nini wall of salvation. Manake in the Bible wall speaks of salvation. You are protected. Anybody by any skis and skize. You are a protected garden. Mm, you are a protected garden. Nyumba yako imelindwa. Yes. 
Jouer garde na somba nasema kwamba sisi ni shamba la Bwana. Wewe ni shamba ya Bwana. That's why tunapanda seed of the word because we are garden of the Lord. But king akiwa na garden yake alikuwa na protect na wall. Ili maadui wasiingie. Ili wanyama wabaya wasiingie. So anaambia mpendo wake, my garden, woo, shalalala. Ah, jua e garden locked up. And close garden. Hai ni maneno kisomo na fao furahi. Hai ni maneno kisomo na fao tuulie kwa ajili ya furaha. Unajua kama kumba nimelindwa hata mambo yakuwa mabaya. Kumba nimelindwa hata kukuwa na magodwa. Kumba nimelindwa hata watu wakininukia. Kumba nimelindwa hata nikiwa na madeni. Kumba nimelindwa hata watu wakiniangalia vibaya. Nimelindwa na salvation. God and the same in the book of Zechariah 2 he is a wall of fire around us he is a raw wall of fire around us na ifuna nisikiza na unanitegea umelindwa we ni shamba si exposed usaiende mahali ukuta shamba <laughs> haina ukuta eh usaienda usaikuta na hiyo shamba unakuta kwamba hakuna kitu kime protect watu wanaenda kujisaidia pale Nakuta watu wamejisaidia pale wengi wanyama nini ngombe zinasaidia huko ngombe zinakula nini hakuna kitu kinaweza kuwa mahali pale bali ana mumiko mwe ni shamba tofauti we ni shamba shamba langu na mimi shamba langu na limelindwa protected garden praise god protected garden But he didn't see by akuita hata mpendo wako. Mita oh my garden. Woo! Oh my garden. I love you my garden each and every time I want to take some fruit I come to that garden. I enjoy the fruit come out there. You know my garden. Ay 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 ay. So I'm with the shamba. And I'm with the shamba. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, ni mzoki be mungu nda mwili ngile. Eh. Imagine. Mm. Imagine. Na nini hapa sana? Wa mama bado nisikize hapo hata wabaze. Nisikize. Wa mama kwa shamba imerindo. Kwa mungu nda mwili ngile. Usikute kwamba hii bado nataka kuingia na ingia. Hii ni bado ngude kwamba na ingia. Mtu anatoka town mnakutana yeye na uko nyumbani anaingia. Hii Ah, shagora mo. <laughs> si kila kuingiwa na kila mtu, ka kijana kadogo kanaingia hiyo shaba. Mzee ambaye ni mzee two times kuliko wewe anaingia hiyo shaba. <laughs> kwa ni shaba yako? Kwa ni shaba yako? Ama ba. <laughs> may you be a pro- may you ah. In your marriage May God protect your marriage. <laughs> Imagine bibi yako ni shaba ambao haija haija lidwa vizuri sana. Imagine. Mwili gole re, mukunda mwili gole re. Bibi yako atakanyagwa na watu utakipata. Kwa sababu aje nini? Eh, ana kuna watu ambao wako hivyo mpaka kidoa. <laughs> Can you hear what I'm saying? Ebu ngali vile namwambia. Ndio kama in the dimension bili. Kuna e ameweka wall na Steven dimension nyingine wewe mwenyewe unajiweka wall. You see now. Ni vyema sana. Mungu amekuprotect, but you have your part to protect. Don't expose yourself. Usikuwe ni shamba ya kunyagwa na kila mtu. Na tuko ba hii shamba ina miti huko ndani. Na hiyo miti ina matunda. Hii shamba akalia vile basi mimi angalia vile bwana sema My bride. <laughs> you are a spring and crossed. Kisima. When the kisima spring Who a sealed fountain 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 so that your fountain resource mahari maji anatoka then it can't go flow then that is spring eh tunaelewana eh so nasema kwamba you have sealed fountain sealed fountain 
Mahari baadhi ya natoka ni pandi siri de. Tunelewa na. Eh? <laughs> well, so alikuwa anamwambia kwamba you are virgin. You are virgin. Mahari maji natoka. Tunaelewa na sasa. Mahari maji natoka ni sealed. Bado sir, unajua ukinunua kitu kina sir, eh? Kama hii Bible yangu nimeisoma sana, niko na ile mpya niko na hii. So unakuta kwa inaweza kuwa ina kasir, tu sir. Unajua kana kasir kanaweka hapa. Ka kitu unanunua kana kasir kanaweka hapa. So namwambia kwamba garden, kwa hii garden, where you my garden now. But inside the garden kuna fault ni kuna maji. So any time na kiu Any time na 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 any time nina any time nina kiu naenda to my garden na kuna maji pale but fault and maji ile <laughs> kuna spring maji ambayo ina flow but although maji ina flow fault ni yake sosi yake ina maji spring ni closed na fault ni sealed in a seal 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 <laughs> so aija torewa seal. So hii ni shot alikuwa anamwambia, haujakubalisha wanaume watoe seal hale. Hiyo seal iko. Na the same way we are in Christ. We are the garden of the Lord. Now we have dimension B is the Holy Spirit. Maneke fountain. <laughs> So somebody maji natoka fountain maji iko ndani unajua kwamba ma, fountain ya kwamba maji iko ndani mahali natoka fountain but spring inaanza ku flow ni dimension mbili za holy spirit in us na flowing in us fountain na spring in us and flowing in us and we are seen by the holy spirit that's the dimension ya spiritual but now kuna dimension ya kidoa bibi yako ni shamba na hiyo shamba ina kisima ina fountain hiyo fountain ni seed na ina spring okay okay hebu angalie proverb angalie proverb angalie proverb proverb 5 waza tu pamoja pole pole tu hapa <laughs> proverb 5 angalia verse number 15 Drink water from your own cistern. Running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets? Unataka maji yako sasa yatabakae mpaka na huko kwa barabara spring. Your streams of water in the public squares. Imagine. Unataka kwamba spring yako kwa barabara stream zako imekuwa kubwa sasa ka stream kanazidi kukua spring kanazidi kukua stream imekuwa sasa kubwa unataka itoke siko barabara <laughs> paka kwa public squares umehama yani maji inakunywa mpaka kwa barabara tunaelewana <laughs> kunywa kutoka kwa kisima chako na kisima chako watu wasikunywa maji kwa barabara aha or kwa public squares Asa maji inaweza kunywa mpaka kwa barabara. Kuna watu maji yao yamekunywa mpaka kwa kwa nini? Maji ya watu wengine. Bali ni vyema sana seriously speaking. Ni vyema sana mahali na maji ya inakunywa ni very important. Si inakunywa kwa streets, kwa barabara. Unakubali maji yako kunywa kwa ukuta. Kinyumba hakijamalizika. Maji inakunywa tu hapo. <laughs> Ai, ai. Come on. May your fountain remain sealed in Jesus mighty name. May your spring remain locked. Kadiga jina. Eh, maji kingine nakunywa mpaka kwa gari. Eh, na ni gari ya boss. Boss anakunywa maji ambayo hafai kukunywa. Wacha aone bali hiyo maji. Agaria, you know when some proverb. <coughs> Let them Nisquise. Let them be you as alone. Eh. Hiyo majini yako, peke yako. Enjoy yourself. 
maji msishie na mtu maji kunywe na mtu mmoja tu mtu mmoja tu akunywe hiyo maji na Solomon analinga <laughs> and some of 14 eco sealed I am the one <laughs> I am the one to break the seal I am the one na hujui hakuna kitu kinapendeza mwanaume hmm. ah kama kujua kwamba ni yeye ali break the seal uliza mwanaume unaweza kuta kwamba anaweza tafuta msichana ali break seal yake 19 years back analiga ni mimi ni break your seal i am the one anaskia eh uh, kale ka unini eh sikia bado yeye ni mwanaume eh <laughs> so maji yako ni yako peke yako tesira na sasa roma sema kwamba wewe ni garden iko protected na sio garden tu iko protected paka kisima rudu gadu that zet no sharing of water <laughs> if you listen to me you are being sharing your maji yeah, your fountain your spring and you come in under dimension bibi sana kuna dimension ya fountain source ya yeah, spring meanza ku ku flow Yeah, a fountain source but in a flow. Ni lazima maji wakati mwingine i flow. Mira zwa dugo pamoja. Ni Bible. Jeri anakuna watu bao maji inakunywa na Red Road sababu umekosa pesa ya kulipa nyumba mara droda na kunywa maji it is my prayer tonight may your fountain remain sealed angalia vile babu anasema angalia lead it it babu anasema namba gani never be shared with the strangers never share your water with the strangers never 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 Hey hapo ustumia ile msemo wa farodhi atakopa sharing is carry hapa si carry it is destroying let them not taste your water let them not taste your water don't share your water with the strangers angalia vile bwana sema make your fountain namola kela zala balota oh shakato borova sataba the bible is so clear hapa angalia inasema the proverb 5 i like it siku nimeona vizuri sana verse 18 May your fountain be blessed. Can you <laughs> May your fountain be blessed. Can you hear fountain? Mm. Anasema hiyo kisima wacha ikae imebarikiwa. Meaning wakati unaishia na watu unailetea laana hiyo kisima. Kuna watu wameletea kisima laana. Lakini wakati sababu inasema verse number seven, verse number 18 may your fountain be blessed. Na hapa tunaogea angalia may you rejoice in the wife of your youth May your fountain be blessed May your fountain be blessed Bali rongo praise God may your fountain be blessed <laughs> Anybody hearing my voice any time you share your fountain with your man Your fountain is blessed. Anytime you show me the strangers, unaletea laana fountain yako sasa. Ngie kujugua mono. Na kwa ndiye siko anybody abana nisikiza. na kisima chako na joko bauka au ukifanya kibarikiwe maji yako yasikunywe na watu wengine Na sasa Solomon anasema kwamba <laughs> you are my garden and this garden is already enclosed 
Can I, can I, <laughs> can I tell you something? Nata unisikize. Have you noticed something ko baibu? Marriage mingi sana za Old Testament. Watu wanakutana kwa well. Yes. Angalia, mtu kama, mtu kama, <laughs> Eliaza, alipata, <laughs> Rebecca kwa well. Jacob alipata recho kwa well. I don't have to talk about that kasabu. That's another story. Na sababu so, nasema hapo very clear. Let your fountain remain blessed. That's my prayer tonight. Let your fountain remain blessed. Sisters, brothers, let your fountain remain blessed. Tumekanywa maji kukunywa kwa streets na kwa public squares hii particular hii hizo ni lodgings hizo ni lodgings unakuta ni sister these are things that i need mabwa naendelea yako may your fountain be sealed and that's when excuse everybody na sema i love him do a graceful dear May her blessings satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. Why be captivated my son by adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? Imagine, imagine why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? That's it. I will miss my commitment that your bless satisfy you. A bless zako ni za mtu mmoja tu si wawili. But I will surprise you. I will surprise you manake tukifika chapter number 7 Kuna time alikuwa anatamani chapter number 7 kuna time alikuwa anatamani anasema kwamba anaita bibi yake palm tree Na anasema kwamba anatamani kupanda palm tree akure matunda Alikuwa anasema kwamba anatamani apande palm tree ashike matunda ya palm tree Hai ndio wewe Angalia mahali tuko sasa <laughs> Ah, ah, <laughs> hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord <laughs> get this now angalia vile bwana anasema ni sweet tunasoma na nyinyi bible hapa tunasoma nyinyi bible angalia audio by the way sijafika topic yangu leo maneka topic yangu bado haijaanza Inaanza verse 16. Na tuko tof. 16 ndio kwanza imebeba mabo. By the way wamependana wako na chapter 1 wako na chapter 3 wako na chapter 2 wako na chapter 3 na still hata wako wameenda 3 chapters bado kisima iko sealed imagine na unajua solomon ni nani solomon ni nani namjua na bado still wanaenda 3 chapters bado kisima ni sealed you need mtu ambaye hata mkiwa na mnaendaeza na mnaweza enda na ya chapter kani siko kana miaka kama na engage na mtu 2 years miaka mna engage na mtu 2 years muone na yeye 2 years 3 years muone ati mjuane uongo kuna kitu kama hiyo hebu nisikize sasa 
The Bible is so clear hapa nasema kwamba seed fountain. Angalia verse 13. No kile kile nitenga ni verse 13 and verse 14. Maneke verse 13 and verse 14. Alafu nitegee anasema kwamba shamba yake ina matunda aina tisa. Maneke kuna miti aina tisa imetajwa ya matunda. Kwa hivyo akiingia kwa shamba anakuta miti mingi. That's it. So leo anaoja hii tunda. Anafikiri kwamba leo nitaoja hii. Leo nataka test ya kwa shamba, kwa shamba, kwa shamba. Asomo kwa Biblia hapo chini, verse 14. Kwa shamba kuna matunda aina tisa. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Kwa shamba kuna miti ya aina tofauti tisa imetajwa pale so ina matunda tofauti na ka fragrance tofauti okay alafu leo solomon anaweza tamua kwamba leo nataka test ya pomegranate so anaenda kwa test ya pomegranate leo anasema kwamba nataka ma leo anaenda kwa nyaka harufu kama ma Okay. Then imetajwa hapa. Nenda kusema kwamba leo naenda nataka kama ingine imetajwa hapa nikuangalie. Nasema kwamba leo nataka hina. Nataka test ya hina. Kafura kama nika hina, anaenda kwa hina. Leo akisema kwamba nataka karamas, anaenda kwa karamas. Akisema kwamba anataka ya sinamo, anaenda kwa sinamo. So, kulingana na ile test ya nataka, na ile smela nataka, anakula kulingana na ile anataka. Man it is good kwa garden yako kuwa na testi tofauti. Kwa garden yako ni vyema sana kukuwa na miti ina testi tofauti kwa garden yako. Yes. Si kila time kukula tu ugali tu kugali tu nadhokoma. Ugali at least kuna testi unaweza kula ugali na dhokoma uh, na kastiu. Ifu unapenda nguruwe unaweza kula ugali na nguruwe like that. Maybe spinach. At least testi tofauti. Tunaelewana? Testi tofauti. So, that's why kwa shamba kuna miti aina tofauti. Sababu kuna testi tofauti kwa shamba. Si testi moja. Testi moja ina haribu mpaka doa. Ni vyema sana. At least ni vyema sana shamba yako ikuwe na aina mingi, aina tofauti ya miti. Aina tofauti ya miti at least. Si mti mmoja tu. Ati ni ugari tu ni ugari, leo ni ugari tu, leo ni ugari. Hey, Unaweza mpaka terere. At least badrisha, badrisha taste. Badrisha taste. Wacha kwa, kwa shamba ya, ya Solomon kuna aina tisa ya miti. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Mwenye masikio na askia vile roho anasema na kanisa. Matunda ya kuriwe from different tastes. That's why hapa kuna miti imetajwa. Bruce and Elisa pass out about that one to kill your spiritually. Yes, ni miti tisa. Baru kiangalia hii miti tisa hapa inanijenga. Kwa sababu naigawanya. For example, wacha nikusitue sana. Ukiangalia for example, pomegranate. Pomegranate ilikuwa inatumia ni guo za high priest zilikuwa na pomegranate. So it's about priesthood. Na temple ya Solomon ilikuwa na pomegranate. So it is a issue of the priesthood, ministry of priesthood in Christ. Eh? Eh, kafura eh. All flavors in one, in one. Ni kwa shamba yako si shamba za wenyewe, ni yako. At least shamba yako acha upande miti ya aina nini. Mina soma Bible, tunasoma na nyinyi. So spiritual pomogoro ni speaks of priesthood. <laughs> Listen to this. Then hina na nade spike night. 
It doesn't speak of worship. You remember Mary, Ariwaga in Mafuta, so you only worship. So pomegranate speaks of priesthood. That is in Mary's appeal. Hina Nanad speaks of worship. Manaka zina tumika na worship. Very important. La cora la raosha la mazanda. Tako nitege. Karamas na sinamo. Zina tumika kutegeneza anointing oil. Speaks of the anointing of God in you. Anointing of God in you. Nisikize. Man aros. Aros is pale. Zina tumika na death. Manaka wakati Nicodemus alienda ku anoint Jesus wakati alikuwa alimtoka msalaba alibeba mana arosis So is is a mushu speaks of death kwa hivyo tuna priesthood tuna worship tuna anointing na tuna death Hiyo ni ministry ya shamba ya Mungu Manaka in kwa shamba ya Mungu lazima Mungu ane priesthood in you Lazima kuonekana worship in you. Lazima anointing manifest in you. Lazima the finished work of the cross manifest in you. That's why kuna nine types of trees. Are we together now? But ukija kwa ndoa, lazima shamba yako iko ina taste tofauti. Si taste tu kile kitaste kimoja kitest kimoja tu kia pineapple kitest kimoja tu kia pineapple ki pineapple Monday pineapple Tuesday pineapple Wednesday pineapple Thursday pineapple Saturday pineapple Sunday pineapple Monday come on mm ya kugarulia mm test hii ya hina test hii ya ma test hii ya alo test hii ya sina mokaramas come on alia na roho nasikia vile alia na masikio sikia vile roho anasema So now re- listen to this now. <laughs> Angalia verse number 15. You are a garden. You are a garden. Maana nakubushwa ni garden. Na nabona namna gani a garden. You are a garden fountain. Anaambia kama wewe ni fountain. Get this now. Fountain. Anaitwa fountain. Garden ya fountain. A well of flowing water. Na na muskize hapa. And it you are a garden fountain. You are a garden fountain. Hmm. Then yako kuna source. Kuna mahali maji yanatoka fountain. Then hiyo maji haikai tu hivyo. Haikai tu na huko ndani maji. Ah 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 ah. Hiyo maji ina flow. Hiyo maji ina flow. Ina flow. Not only that streams down from no ina flow kabisa. Hiyo maji ina flow. So na ito fountain in a water. In the dimension of Holy Spirit in us. In us. Within us Holy Spirit. Fountain in us. Flowing. So flowing in us now. Kwa soul nini kabisa. But is it kwa streams. It is flowing outside. Holy Spirit in us. Fountain get this now flowing in us and out of us to others that's it so kuna dimension kwanza kuna dimension pre dimension tatu but now let's kiss sasa get verse number 16 don't miss this one then anasema <laughs> ni Solomon sasa and I'm and I'm saying to you one bibi yake and I say kwamba awake not the weed awake not the weed and attack a weed ikuje sasa not the weed <laughs> and I say kwamba oh and come south weed south weed bro on my garden That his fragrance may spread abroad. Let my lover come into his garden and tastes and tastes and tastes its choice fruits. 
So kuna kitu Solomon hapa anatuonyesha kina pray to us both spiritually and kwa ndoa anaita north wind na ukisoma kwa bible north wind kwa bible north wind huyu inaleta mvua nataka unitegee hapo vizuri sana north wind huyu inaleta maji Verse number 16 the last one now. <laughs> ah. Ah la 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 shindi gorivo sari mayandi boza. Ragoni tegena unisikize hapa. Maneka this one is very very important. I get a proverb 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 25 verse number 23 proverb 25 verse number 23. Bomba nasema kwamba north weed north weed inaleta mvua. That's it. South weed kurigana na Rook 12 verse number 55 inaleta joto. Is hot. So kompendo wake anaita north and south weed. North weed italeta maji. South weed italeta moto. Kwa hivyo maji ikija na moto ikuje sasa ataingia kwa shamba yake akure matunda kumaanisha hawezi kula matunda before aite north wind and south wind so ili akule tunda lazima aite very important rakere boza rakoza bakandi bozata can you hear what i'm saying so lazima north wind ilete mvua maji. South wind ilete joto. Ili sasa kaharufu kazuri kakuje, kavutie, kamvurute Solomon. Na aingie kwa shamba yake, akiingia kwa shamba yake sasa akure tunda. Meaning this is a way out. Awezi enda kukula uh, tunda. Wakati kisima kimekauka lazima kisima kikuwe na maji. Lazima uite the north wind uh, karuho urutira. It's cool now. It's cool. Come north wind, come north wind. The come north wind. Uh, come north wind, come, come north wind. Ita kisima siku imekauka. Wacha ikuwe na maji. Eh, Matunda ya kulike. Very important. Then eat the south wind. Wacha moto sasa iwake. Wacha moto iwake. Wacha moto iwake. Moto iwake, moto iwake. Then now uh, mpaka na vurutu na kaharufu. Una vurutu na kaharufu nao. Oh, shabarabo zakata mazoi roshaka. Lelolo zakiri moshana. Then utakula matunda. Take on it again. Spiritually, it is the same. <laughs> uh, in the Bible North wind brings rain of blessings So wakati unakuja spiritual kuna North wind it speaks of blessings Maana kinaleta mvua baraka <laughs> Get this brings blessings. South wind in the Bible speaks of comfort. In the book of Job chapter number 7 verse 17. Job the 7 verse 17 and act 27 13 act 27 13 so south wind speaks of quietness 
it is hot weed inaleta comfort na growth na increase that's why ata kama maisha yetu we need a south weed increase we need a south weed comfort we need a south weed growth maana ka south weed inaleta increase inaleta growth inaleta comfort quietness utulifu North weed North weed inaleta rain blessings that's it that's why we need the weed upon our life speaks of quietness comfort south weed is my prayer come tonight may you enjoy the south weed Quite mess kwa mambo yako increase and growth kwa maisha yako may you enjoy north weeds rain of blessings in your life may you enjoy i na mbili zimetatu za weed mahali pale north weeds and south weeds don't miss tomorrow don't miss not tomorrow saturday Wakati wako tunatambua chapter number 5 That's right May you enjoy a north weed and the south weed in your family May you enjoy south weed come maybe you don't have you freaking come but you don't have that quietness you don't have growth you need your business to increase may you enjoy this weed Baba tunakupa sifa kwa neema yako bana nguvu zako umetunenea kwa jia ya maajabu umenenea baba mioyo yetu na mawazo yetu wewe ni Mungu natenda wewe ni Mungu nabariki Neema yako baba ni kubwa juu yetu. Umenenea mio yetu bwana. Wacha hawa watu wake enjoy north weed baraka kwao. Wa enjoy south weed increase na growth father na quietness kwa maisha yao. Natangaza baba ukazidi kuwapiga ndiye kila vita. Piga ndiye maisha yao na hali zao. Kwa ndiye siku leo hawatangangana tena father you are fighting for them. The battles of God belongs to you. Asante kwa kile ambacho unatenda. Asante kwa bado unaonekania na unawainua. We lift you higher God. Kwa maana ni wewe tegemeo na ni wewe kimilio na wewe baba unaweza. Hawa watu wamebarikiwa na wameonekaniwa. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Bwana kuamini. Amen. You are there. How you receive Jesus? Sema kwa ndiye siku leo. Yesu nimeamini ufufuo wako. Nimekiri kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba ewe Yesu ni Bwana. Asante kwa ukofu wako. Na kwa kunifanya kiwe kipya. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nimeokoka na nimeamini. Father hawa wameokoka. Wajaze na nguvu zako zidi kuwatumia uonekanie na uwajaze zaidi. Thank you Jesus for your grace and your anointing. In Jesus name. Amen. May you enjoy no the wheat and south within your life maybe you are there unasema kwamba pastor nimebarikiwa i want to connect with that grace i want to flow with that grace anasema pastor i want to support ile kazi unafanya unasema kwamba hii hii pesa yangu wacha i serve god let's pray for those people anasema kwamba i have this offering Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo hawa watu. Hapo ana mwokomba they will connect with this ministry of God. They will support this ministry father. Milango yao iko kufungukie. Zidi baba kuwainua baba. Zidi baba kuwatendea makubwa na madhabu na ushindi wa kuba uwafuate nao. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Praise God. I know kwamba kila mtu amekuwa class. Ah, uh, na umeelewa? Na kitabu ya wimbo wa Solomon najua kwamba inazidi kukujenga. Inazidi kukuelimisha mambo mazuri. 
<laughs> ah. Very, very important. Iyo ni muhimu sana. Iyo ni muhimu sana kujua. Na ni vyema sana kile tumesoma unarudia. Ni vyema sana Maureen Dabi. God bless you. Wacha neno watu ambao tumefuatilia hapa. Alpha nimeona akisema kwamba utarudia Alpha na urudia kwa maana utateka kwa nyumba peke yako. Florence, tare take care God bless you. Aha, wacha niona watu wengine. James Ngando, God bless you so much. <laughs> uh, si ni Simarin, <laughs> Mataria. Ah, uh, Sara Emery, barikiwa sana. <laughs> Merry Kerry, thank you. Nasema amebarikiwa. Tu peke yake anajua kama imebariki kila mtu. At- <laughs> Hadi kwa Monica Mohoro anasema kwamba hii chapter utarudia. Monica hii chapter tumesoma. Hawezi liganisha na chapter 5. Let me tell you the truth. Ile chapter kali sana ni chapter 8. Hiyo ndio kali sana. So vile zinaenda zinaenda zinapata zinapanda revo nao to another glory. So ukisoma hiyo tumesoma. <laughs> chapter 4, chapter 5 ni interesting now. Chapter 5 ni interesting. Chapter 6 inamaliza kile kitu 7 hiyo ndio sasa napanda pump 3 Chapter 8 ah hiyo ndio sasa inaisha inaisha sasa hiyo sasa Don't miss that one So the more tunazidi kupenya ndani the more tunazidi kujijua kiroho na still tunaguza kidogo dimension ya kifamilia kidogo tu si sana kwa sababu hapa tuongee kwa kana common ni ni sema ni tunaongea watu wakiwa mahali kwa room Unajua zile room za Facebook, tuko kwa room ya Facebook, tuongee hiyo mahe. Hey, very interesting. I will, you like it. You like it. So Florence Mukuhe. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you, thank you Grandes. Idera, thank you. Ah. Sama Green. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Mm. Najua kwamba watu maisha yao yamechange. Tulizo mazidi kujijua zaidi. Umejua kana kwamba shaba yako ina mtu mwingi au ni mtu mmoja? Very important. Maina karibu sana. So my number is 0726511172. 0726511172. May God bless you so much. Tomorrow tukutane pale kwa kwa YouTube bana tuko Facebook live uh, kukuna covenant mintangalia we will be dealing with the demonic covenants how to deal with the demonic covenants how to deal with the demonic covenants god willing if if si dimension nyingine mungu atatuongoza kwa sababu tunaweza ongoza na dimension nyingine tutaangalia tu tomorrow so to meet tomorrow saa sita mpaka saa samba pale kwa channel ya, ya Farudi tomorrow down me that one Siku moja tutaingia room kuna group kuna group tutapeleka room ya hapa ya nini <laughs> It took hana praise god so god bless you uh, tomorrow tukutana but hapa hapa tunakutana saturday don't miss saturday saturday don't miss it tomorrow saa sita tukutane tutakuwa kwa live kwa page ya facebook page ya farodi na pale YouTube tutakuwa live yeah, and the same case by the on Sunday uh, Sunday Sunday uh, first service tutakuwa Facebook live second service tutakuwa YouTube live on Sunday first service tutakuwa Facebook live second service tutakuwa YouTube live don't miss that one God willing will be talking about the healing of God mm healing of God manake If kuna issues na kusumbua healing I believe God willing in tongue about healing on Sunday. Maana tunataka magojo ya disappear ya achilia mili yetu na familia zetu. So God willing on Sunday I will speak about healing. Magmuloke na somba kwamba watu waezi to share kwa room. So anyway shalom we meet tomorrow